how's it going guys? So today we're gonna to be installing a brand new set of headlights into the Protege 5. We're gonna be taking out these really crusty old ones on the car and installing some really cool retrofitted ones with a projector and a halo ring. Uh, let's just get right into it. The new set of headlights that we have here is from a sedan and that does use a different setup. It uses a singular bulb for the high and low beam, but the current Protege 5 headlights I have, they use a separate high and low beam. So I have a harness right here from Harness Performance, and this will allow you to do a plug and play swap. Take a look at this, you can see a really big difference in the quality and how clean these new headlights are. Super crisp, brand new, with a really cool projector on the inside right there, along with a halo ring. And it's also a really good way to showcase the difference. So as you can see, one singular housing for the high and low beam. But if you go to the old set, there's the two separate ones the low beam and the high beam. So that's why that new harness is needed. All right, so the first step to take your headlights out is to disconnect your negative terminal on the battery. Just a quick little bolt right here. I think on a, your stock car, it should be a little finger nut. Take that off and make sure you know, the wires are connecting and that's it. All right, so what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna take off this bolt and the other bolt adjacent from this, which is a quick and simple Phillips. You're doing this to remove the grill of the car. All right, after you take your grill off, you're gonna have a couple of these little pins right here. It's really safe to have a few extra ones before we do this because of the chance of them breaking is highly likely. Three more of these and take them off the same way. Alrighty, and then after you take the three clips off, what you're gonna do, there's a couple eight millimeters that are connecting the fender to the bumper. What I like to do is I like to stick my drill in there and bust these out. There's gonna be two of them one closer right here and then one more towards the middle of the fender and the light and then after you get both sides of the fender off right here the bumper is going to want to be hanging pretty bad so there's actually quite a few bolts at the bottom right here on the other side there i believe two 10 millimeters up in the middle part and then an array of other ones up here on the side um, they usually just kind of hold the splash guard in and the, the, to the bumper and then after you take that off, your bumper is going to want to come right off. You will also have a plug over here connecting the bumper to the actual thing. And that's it. After you take the bumper off, you just have two more bolts right here, one right here, one at the top, and one more. So these are a simple 10 millimeter. After you take that out, the headlight is going to be free. And literally the last thing connecting it to the car is the harness. Alrighty, once you notice you have all those bolts off, you're gonna wonder why the headlight is still kind of in there. It's because what you're gonna wanna do is take a little flathead or something, and take up that little clip, and that's kind of holding it in the radiator support. And voila, your headlight is now out. Now that you've had it out, you're gonna see you've got your H7 headlight bulb right here, your high beam, which is connected to the harness with the plug. What you're gonna wanna do is simply pull it out like that. The cool thing is that these new headlights will actually reuse this blinker bulb right here. So no harness or anything required, simply just plug it into the new headlight. And you'll simply do the same thing on this side. And, uh, take off the bolts and unclick it. That's it. And then after you're done taking the headlight out, you're gonna to wanna to put this new harness in. So this right here goes to the parking light. This right here goes to the main bulb. This is a giant like relay. This goes to your old H7, and this one will go to your high beam. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're trying to kind of hide it or kind of wrap it under the radiator support, wherever you can have a good spot for it. After that, we're gonna plug our new headlight in, mount it, and put it all back together. All right, when you have it like this, I would test all of the lights and everything like that. Um, just make sure everything works. But right now, I'm actually gonna put the bumper on. You put it on the exact same way you took it off. Pretty simple. Let's just uh, wrap this up. Black, 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 
So I got everything installed now. The headlight, the bumper's fully really mounted. And we're just the two clips over here, two right here on the other side in the bottom, and that's it. So what you're gonna wanna do now is reconnect your battery and let's test it out. Like this. All right guys, and that's it. So the install went pretty smoothly besides the 15 amp fuse that was blown for this headlight. Um, I kept trying to troubleshoot it and figure out what was the actual broken part. And then I looked at the fuse and that was it. So the angel eyes on this, I really like the, the halo ring or whatever you want to call it. I think that looks really, really cool. It makes the car look really modern. The headlights are brand new. There's no scratches. They're super clear, super clean. And yeah, remember I got the harness from Harness Performance on Instagram, and then the headlights are a retrofitted set off of eBay. Um, they actually came pretty quick and everything worked really well. Make sure you guys drop a comment down below if you have one, leave a like and subscribe. Later guys. Hey,